From Hollywood, it's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Tonight, YouTube's Vsauce, Michael Stevens. And now, settle down, here's Jimmy Kimmel. Tonight on the show, from Vsauce on YouTube, Michael Stevens is here. We have music from Brad Paisley, and we'll be right back to chat with Brad and Josh Groban, Kesha, and Ludacris, too, so stick around. We'll be right back with Michael Stevens. <laughs> Brad Paisley, if you've ever wondered what color is a mirror or what if everyone jumped at once, well, first off, you were probably high, but secondly, <laughs> you'll be interested in what our next guest has to say, and you're not alone. He makes educational videos on his YouTube channel called Vsauce. Please welcome Michael Stevens. <laughs> explaining things. Can you explain how do we vote on Rising Star? Because I'm still unclear on the wall. And okay, <laughs> and it requires a knowledge of quantum mechanics. Oh, forget it, forget it. Okay, you're, well, you're not a teacher, you're just very good at explaining things. And I'm excited about a lot of things, and I want to make that excitement sort of contagious. You know, when you see that someone else is now as obsessed with that weird topic that you are. I think you do. In fact, I happened upon some of your videos on, on YouTube, and I thought, oh, we've got to get this guy because I'd, I'd like to talk to him. Because the questions that you, uh, well, you don't always answer them. I think you try to answer them. Some of them are kind of unanswerable. Yeah, they're unanswerable, but they are exciting. Like, why do we kiss, right? Seriously. Like, yeah. Who were the first two people to kiss? They were yeah. like, hey, I like you. Let's pretend to eat each other but not swallow. <laughs> and then, right, and then what? Like some other couples looking over there going, why don't we do that, you know? But actually, we don't know exactly why, but there are theories. And by looking at what those theories can tell us about human nature, we can learn a lot. And you go hoping to watch people kiss, you know? Do, but then, do people in other, like in every culture kiss? Because I know like, don't Eskimos have like a butterfly kiss? Oh, my favorite's the caterpillar kiss. What is that? That's when you just kind of go like this. <laughs> like right on their lips or cheek or wherever you want. Who does that? Just me. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, your videos have been uh, viewed like more than 600 million times. Yeah, and hey, there are three Vsauce channels. So Vsauce 1, Vsauce 2, and Vsauce 3. That's Vsauce 3, okay, all right. But, but they're, they're all I didn't know it was a fill-in-the-blank situation. <laughs> I, look, I'm not a teacher, but I will quiz you. So they're, they're super fun. Uh, the hosts of those channels are brilliant. Jake and Kevin are great. All together, a billion views now. Wow, that's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And where do the questions come from? They come from everywhere. They come from, like, a weird thought that I'll have, right? Like, the kissing one. I just recently got a girlfriend, and I'm like, whoa, here's an episode idea. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> this is different all of a sudden. Um, and all, you know, I, I, I was just in New Zealand, okay, uh -huh. meeting her parents for the first time, and I'm like, I'm on the other side of the world. Right. Right? I'm about, like, water circles in a different direction, right? And so now I'm starting to think about the world and how the world spins, and what if the Earth stops spinning? That's where that came from. That's where, meeting your girlfriend's parents is when you thought about <laughs> What if world. my body was flung violently at a thousand miles an hour? <laughs> yeah. What about the question that I mentioned earlier in the show? Is it the biggest toll on Earth, or is it the deepest, or uh, how would you describe What is, I, I would guess that was the Grand Canyon. Oh. <laughs> well, the Grand, <laughs> wow. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, how do you define a hole? That's a whole big question. Mm -hmm. What I want to know is... Literally. The, the, literally. Mm -hmm. It's the whole question, in fact. Um, the deepest hole, Kay. right? The deepest hole used to be created by the Soviet Union. It used to be in Russia, seven and a half miles deep, right? Now they dug one that's slightly deeper that's in the Middle East, and it's all for oil. But, Jimmy, that's the deepest hole ever. We couldn't make it deeper because it got hotter than we expected down there. We've never gone back to the hole. It's welded shut now, seven and a half miles deep. We send people into outer space hundreds of thousands of miles away. Right. But we can't even go more than eight miles down. 
Because the, you get into the molten core of the earth. No, yes. you're not even close to the molten core. Oh, well, what's yeah. so hot down there? Are there demons? <laughs> there, Jimmy, there might be. Uh-huh. Right? It, this is, it's, a, it's amazing that the, the mysteries of space are, you know, cool and huge, but there are mysteries right down there, not even as far away as the space ones. You sometimes take questions from kids yeah. Uh, are, are they basic questions, or uh, are the kids have better? Are the kids' questions better or worse than adult questions? Oh, they're better. They are. Oh yeah, adults ask questions that are. I mean, I don't want adults to get mad at me. They're fine, but kids are amazing because they'll just be like, Michael, what's the opposite of a duck? <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> let's take that seriously uh -huh. because we might accidentally learn more about ducks than we ever thought possible. Right? Yeah. And what is the opposite of a duck? Stay tuned. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, and you're going to figure it out? Uh, I'll try my best. Um, I wish me luck. Yeah, I mean, it can't be an animal. Let's try to figure this out right now. Okay, so what does it mean to be an opposite? Opposites attract. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just duck food. Oh, right? is it? You but see, it's, it's thinking outside the box. Is opposites attract, is that, is that a phrase, um, is that meaningful? Or is that, is that when it comes to relationships? I mean, I, I, like opposites don't necessarily attract, do they? I mean, like if fire and water are opposites, they don't really attract. I mean, certainly. And they don't get along very well. No, they don't get along very well. So maybe we have a problem with opposites attract just to start with. All right, all okay. right. Okay, all right. So you want to co-write this episode? I would like to be involved yeah. in this one, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I can help you figure this one out. Yeah. The rest, I will be of no help, but something as odd as that one, I would like to figure out what the opposite of a duck is. And at the end of the episode, I'd like to kill it. Whoa. You know what? I like this idea. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a Vsauce 4 where you kill things at the end of it? Soon to be hosted by you. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I think I would fit in well with the rest of the guys. Jimmy, I brought you a fact. Can oh, okay. I tell you a fact? Give me a fact. So yes. I'm super excited to be here. It's mind blowing to be oh, good. here. Do you realize what the, this is? This couch is the ultimate piece of celebrity memorabilia. Why do you say that? Okay. Thanks for asking. So <laughs> humans are shedding skin cells all the time. Like 30 to 40,000 every hour. Okay. Now think of all the guests, all of the famous people who have sat here. I did the math. I talked to your producers about how many guests you've had on, how long this couch has been used. Yeah. There are about five and a half million famous cells hidden inside the fabric of this couch. Wow. Yeah. That's something. So excuse me while I try to add like more. <laughs> So you're saying we could maybe hybridize Kesha and Oprah, both of whom who have sat on that couch, yeah. and create our own Jurassic Park of celebrities that have been on your show. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a great idea. Thanks. <laughs> you and I have a lot to work on, my friend. Well, again, the channel is called Vsauce. There's three of them. No, Vsauce 1, Vsauce 2, and what was the other one? Um, Vsauce 3. Vsauce 3. Oh, Very good. That's yeah. Michael Stevens, everybody.